Hi guys, welcome back. Today is Scrawler Box Day for January. Some people will say it's December's box, but when it doesn't mail out until late December, that tells me that it's really for January. So I'm marking it down as January's box, and that is that. So, anyway, this is Scrawler Box. This is my last Scrawler box that I'll be receiving. I canceled my subscription, not because they did a lousy job or anything like that. It's just that I wasn't real happy with the supplies I was getting. Um, that's not to say that they're not great for someone else. They just aren't that terrific for me. So I've decided to put my two subscriptions together in order to get the doodle and sketch box which is what i received yesterday i actually received scrawler box yesterday too but i forgot to check my mail and i had like three deliveries come to my house and these were in, this was in with my with my mail along with another great book five minute sketching people which is by pete scully a person that i admire as an artist. Um, there are a couple other books that I also received at Christmas that I'm going to be going uh, reviewing with you very soon, but I'm still reading them and looking through them. So um, anyway, let's get on to the scrawler box and see what is inside. Um, oops, I missed two sides. Oh, I always do that. Man, this box... They seal it with so much tape, you'd think it was like Fort Knox in here or something. Um, okay. So, of course, the scrawler box comes wrapped like this. Very pretty. Oops, there's a little tear in that. I probably just did it now. And, oh, it looks like it might be pencils. Let's see. Shall we? I got one small Werther's candy, I'm bleeding, which is very different from that giant Milka Caramel uh, candy bar I got yesterday with my Doodle and Sketch box. Okay, so in the box we have um, the card, which is somewhat like a um, mandala or Zentangle type of a drawing, is by Rebecca Lokler. L-O-E-C-H-L-E-R. Rebecca Lokler is a self-taught artist and illustrator living in Boston, Massachusetts, USA. The type of design, design work Rebecca creates, the reason they add USA is because this is a UK company. Um, the type of design work that Rebecca creates is calming and meditative. <coughs> it requires patience, focus, and precision. Inspired by nature, diverse culture, symmetry, and organic design, Rebecca hopes to share variety and intricacy through strength and connection in her pieces. She loves what she does and hopes that you do too. But that's very pretty. Her artwork is very pretty. So we got that. And then what else did we get here on the bottom? We have... Her exact artwork left so that you can color it in, I guess. Actually, there's two of them. Or is there three of them? Three of them, all the same, that you can color in, which is kind of a clever way to do things. Looks like we're going to be doing some sort of drawing of these. Um, there's some drawing paper. It feels like thin Bristol, you know, lightweight, but... It's all right. And then we have a Spectrum Noir Colorista Premium Marker Pad. Um, the outside of the cover looks like this, and then the inside cover looks like that. And you can color it in and remove the top, maybe, I would think. And then inside that, it says, This page has been intentionally left blank. Please remove this page and position it behind your coloring when using alcohol markers. This will protect your work from bleeding through onto the pages below. So it's a miniature coloring book. That's really kind of cool. I like that. Do you know that I have never bought a col an adult coloring book? And I know I'd like it, except that my feeling, I keep telling myself, don't do it, don't do it. If you've got time to just sit around and and color then practice your drawing skills so I never do this but um, I'm kind of happy I got it I actually picked one up when I was Christmas shopping 
and it was about this size, maybe a little bit bigger, but the designs were more, um, they were much finer. You know what I mean? They were more difficult, I guess you could say, a difficulty level. They were, if you would say this was intermediate, that was more advanced, but I didn't pick it up. I ended up putting it back on the shelf. I picked it up twice. So anyway, so we have markers. Yay! Um, we have two Spectrum Noir Colorista markers. Now, I have the Spectrum Noir markers, and they're black. I've showed them to you before. This one is Canary. It's got a, looks like a fine brush tip almost. I don't know if you can see that there, but... And then this side is a finer tip. I guess very good for coloring, coloring and coloring books. And we'll see what that color is in just a minute. And then we have... Nectarine, which is an orange color or a peachy color. So we'll see about that. And the same tips. This is like a fine brush tip, although there's no flex in it at all. Um, but it's not chiseled. Then we have a I I did Identi pen. It's an ID anti pen, it says. Identi pen, which is permanent. And let's see what the top is on this one. This one has the same kind of tip. It's kind of a broad, broad nib as far as work goes. Oh, here's my, I was looking all over for this. So the Spectrum Noir markers, it says, our dual tipped marker utilizing premium alcohol based inks to achieve super smooth coverage and seamless blending for flawless flourish. Here we go with the words again. It has been specifically designed for coloring with both a fine and ultra fine bullet. That's what you call them, bullet nibs. I couldn't think of the word. Perfectly suited for accurate and detailed coloring. Then this, the Identi pen is by Sakura and it one end of this handy dual tip oh it's a dual tip marker has a fine fiber tip and the other has an extra fine plastic bullet for more detailed work a permanent marker with archival quality ink that is lower odor and xylene free this the link is also Oh, the ink is also waterproof and fade resistant. Oh my God, I need to get my eyes checked. This print is so fine and my eyes have not been checked in a few years. And so here's the other nib. It is pretty fine. I would say if I were to guess, it'd be like a 0 0.5, maybe 0 0.7. I wonder if it says here. 0 0.4. Huh. And then this side is a one one millimeter. And I wonder if this is refillable, because it, it looks like it comes apart. Hmm. If it is refillable, I don't know. Maybe somebody else out there can tell me, and it doesn't say it on here. So, um, then I also have my Squalor Box sticker. You know how I love my stickers. Oh. Okay, and then I also got a Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. Ooh. Ooh, that might be like the Wink Estella pens that I used with my Christmas stuff. These pens, maybe it's similar to that. We'll see. Um, add a touch of sparkle to enhance your coloring with this clear glitter brush pen. Just unscrew and remove the seal, then retighten, shake gently, squeeze to fill the chamber, and then you're ready. And then you're ready. Now brush a layer of sparkle over your work to make it shimmer. You can hear the beads in there that help mix up all the shimmer. And this is like the Wink Estella pens. you got to take this thing off, I think. And then... It says, remove the seal. Unscrew... Remove the seal, then retighten and shake. Oh, okay, because this pushes, then I tighten this once that thing is done. Otherwise, it would go into the nib. And, and this is a brush nib. You can see it's a real brush. It's got real hairs, which is nice. And so does my other one. 
and then you squeeze it, shake it, squeeze it, and fill the chamber, and I should be able to see it coming down the chamber eventually. We will see. Oh, there it comes. I can see it right on this side. Whoops, and it just dripped. Did it drip in my coffee? No, it missed my coffee. Whew! Can't drip in my coffee, man. Okay, and it looks like it it comes out kind of milky white. I'm just doing it on my craft mat here, but I'll it and it looks um very watery. Very, very watery compared to Wink of Stella. But it did leave sparkle on my fingers. I don't know if you can see it there. I got a sparkle finger. Anyway, so that's that. And then last but not least, this is a Spectrum Noir month. Um, we've got the Spectrum Noir Colorista Colorist's Pencils. It's an eight-piece set number six. And it contain, It says, for a more professional result, try these quality pencils for colorists. Strongly pigmented and easy to use for smooth, vibrant coverage. Best results For best results, used with Colorista, Colorista Premium Pencil Pads. And then it's in like five other languages. And it comes in this little handy dandy little plastic thing to hold your pencils. But I, it would have been nice if it had a lid that you could lift off, you know, like a real box, like, like a metal box or even a cardboard box. But the colors are all very bright colors. Um, one looks like an orange. A ye there's two yellows. I think there's a warm and a cool yellow, a pale green, a turquoise, a deep blue that looks kind of ultramarine-like, a pink, and then maybe like a raspberry. So these are the colors. And um, there, aren't, there aren't names listed on the pencils that I can see here. Let's see. Let me get my fingers off the edge. No, there's no names. So, so that is everything that came in my box. Um, so let's go ahead and read the... Uh, what you call it, the challenge for the month. It says, each month we provide you with a selection of art supplies and inspirations, but we also want, you, want to boost your creativity. So we're also giving you a challenge to be interpreted any way you wish. See if you can create something using only the supplies in the box. Good luck and don't forget to share your creations with us. Hashtag scrawler challenge. And it says on the tag, design a coloring page. So that's what we're going to do is to design one of these types of pages and then color it in. Um, but... I don't know that I'm going to do the challenge. I may just color in this book and just kind of show you what the supplies are like. Oh, my light just got brighter. That was weird. Um, and even in this book, some of the pages have sparkle on them. Can you see this flower? When I turn it, I don't know if you can see the iridescence. That is actually glitter, and it's hard to pick up with my lamp but you can kind of see it turning bluish. Um, a bunch of them are like that. That's kind of strange. I don't know if you can color over that or not. And it's on every page, actually. That's weird. This one is completely filled with that glittery stuff. That is bizarre, except for the little flower petals hmm. in the center. So, oh, this one has nothing on it. But we're going to check out this book, and we'll do a little bit in this book. And um, the reason I'm not going to go ahead and make a coloring page today is because I want to get busy painting. Um, I had my heart set on painting today, <laughs> and then I saw this box, and I thought, oh, I better do this first. But if I were to compare it with this box, for those of you who did not watch my doodle and sketch yesterday, I tied it back up just so that everything was together. Um... For those of you who did not watch my Doodle and Sketch box, Doodle and Sketch review yesterday, I will show you what came in this box. Um, this box is much more expensive. It came packaged like this with this purple stuff in it. You get to choose which type of box you want. I picked a painting box over a drawing box, and it came with um, tons of supplies. 
I had Faber-Castell pencils. I got a frame. Um, there was 100% cotton watercolor paper. There is, um, the frame is a glassed-in frame. I got Kleenex to wipe uh, my watercolor with. I got a full set of 12 Royal Tins watercolors, which, by the way, are all premium light fast quality. Somebody um, sent me a link in my email. I appreciate that. Was it Dubeck? Um, for sending me that. Everything, the way they score their light fast is the opposite of the ATSM rating. ATSM ratings go one being the best, three being the worst, but in Europe many companies use the opposite ratings, one being the worst, three being the best. So you don't know until you look up the ratings to see how they do their ratings. And these were all number three, even including the Alizarin Crimson. They said up to 100 years of light fast quality. Um, but anyway, I also got this plastic palette to put the watercolors on, an eraser, gummy eraser in the case, um, Faber-Castell mechanical pencil, two watercolor brushes, a greeting card, a huge candy bar that was bigger than my hand, um, and I can't show it to you because I ate it. And they even gave me the kit to put the wire and everything on the back of the frame for hanging. So it was really an excellent box. This box though, their boxes go from 50 to $60. And this was their $60 box that this month for January. And um, they add $15 on for international orders to cover the shipping. So mine was $75 plus tax. Um, but that's part of the reason that I discontinued my scrawler box and my other subscription that I won't mention. Mm. Um, <laughs> And I wanted to just go with this because it's such an excellent quality box. Um, pooling all my money together from those two other subscription scrawler box, and mm, I um, was able to come up with exactly 75. And I can put it all toward this this subscription. Now this month's subscription for um, scrawler box, I kind of like it. I think it's kind of a cool little challenge. So. Um, although I'm not going to draw, I will show you how the tools work that we received and tell you what I think of it. So let me move the camera and we'll get okay, started. Okay, so here's the supplies I received and I'm just going to take them all out of their jammies here and we will get started. I don't, I'm not going to use the paper in this right now. I'm just going to leave that and um, set it aside. I apologize for not doing the challenge. I really just don't feel like it. So um, the challenge isn't a requirement unless you're doing the um, contests anyway. And in the Doodle and Sketch, they, they also do a contest. It's called do sketch or something like that. Anyway, you post it to Instagram or Facebook or whatever with the hashtag Dusker. And um, whoever wins, they get three finalists and then decide on the winner. And whoever wins gets a free box the next month. I mean, that is just awesome. I don't think you get that with any of the other ones. So, um, so this is my first time ever using one of these. It says that these 20 beautiful original designs are for you to color and keep. As if you would not keep them. I'm not sure. On heavyweight artist grades paper, artist grade paper specifically made for use with colorista alcohol markers. I'm sorry, that's my son's dog. Let me pause this. So this is a cover. I think you can take this portion off and then use this as a cover. It's a little bit different. It's shinier and it feels pretty heavy. Um, and it's said to remove this page. And this page goes behind your page you're working on so that you don't have bleed through. Although, holy smokes, this is heavy cardstock. So, um, you can hear how heavy this is. It's got to be, I'd say, 110 pounds, maybe. Um, now, let me find one that I want to do here. One, I don't know what you guys are, what you think of my lighting, if you've noticed a difference. There's a lot less issue with cast shadows. Although you get fine shadows, 
they're not super dark, which is really nice, which allows you to see more of the work that I'm doing hands-on. This is nice that they give you this book so that if you're going to do the challenge, you get other ideas other than just um, just this one that the artist gives you, you know. And I, I like the fact that they give you these also. Although they're all the same. And that, I guess it's three practices. I think we will just use this one. And I'm not sure if I want to mix marker and... I could mix marker and... Um, pencils. So let's see how they work. Um, before I do that though, I'm going to get a piece of paper here. We'll just write on this and see what the colors are like. This is the canary. It's more of a golden yellow if you ask me. Nice and juicy. Low odor. Both sides are work, work very well. Now out of alcohol, the alcohol mar markers I've got I've got Copics, Pro Markers, Aqua Markers, well those are water-based, Pro Markers, um, and Spectrum Noir, and some other ones that I received from, uh, and, <laughs> and out of all of them, the Spectrum Noir, I think, are the best quality. Um, and their refills are cheap. You can buy bottles of refills. I've got some somewhere. I'm not sure where they're at. But I've had those markers for so long, they're all starting to dry up. And that's a problem with alcohol markers. Water-based markers seem to last a long time. Now, this is the nectarine color, and I really like that color. This is kind of a golden rod, I would say. I don't know why they call it canary, because you look at the brightness on this. That does not match that. It's a warm yellow. Um, this is I'm sorry, I had an interruption there. Um, I just put some of the sparkle over the goldenrod and over the over the um, other one. I'm going to try and dry it and see if you can see it at all. It takes a while to dry, a lot fast, uh, slower than Wink of Stella. Um, let's see if I can get that, to, if you can see that or not. I think you can see it. Yeah, in the orange you can see it. So that's what the sparkle looks like. Um, and now let me make sure I'm focused. Yes. And we will get started with the coloring. I'm going to speed this up. to say here is that because I only have eight colors um, you'll see like I mixed a lot of my colors up to change to change up the the actual color of the pencil whoops I'm breaking my lead these leads um, they're not as they're not creamy like a Prismacolor they're not a waxy pencil they feel more along the lines of a Kind of like a polychromos oil pencil almost but I don't think these are an oil based pencil I think these are just a cheaper colored pencil altogether um, I'm not sure though and I'm just adding some variety of color on here to kind of to make it look a little more interesting because they're otherwise it, to me, it just looks a little bit boring. And using that darker pink with the orange is giving me more of a red color. I'm going to add some more of this in. And then I may add a little bit of blue at the bottom just to purple it out a little bit. I want to ease this up. Gradually um, change the color here. 
So this is what I'm doing. I'm going over things a few times so that you can see the, the transition in color. I'm going to add a little blue at the bottom just to give it more of a shadow look and more purple. And that way, my eight colors turn into a variety of colors, as you can see. I used the marker here, the alcohol marker, and it did bleed through right away, and I thought, oh, my paper, I was supposed to put that behind. It didn't come through onto the other page or onto this, so um, it stopped there, but those are juicy markers. And I actually prefer using the colored pencils over the, over the markers. It's just my preference because I can get more colors. If there were more colored markers, I would try more marker, but there were only the two. So I'm going to continue on and you can see how I'm transitioning the colors. I did that with the greens here. On this side of the greens, I was using this color. On this side, I used these two. But then after I was done, I went over the whole thing with the cool yellow in order to make it greener. So that's how I did that. And I'm gonna go over it a little bit more. quickly did this uh, in just a few minutes but um, and it's not my neatest work I was just trying to go over it really fast because I'm not really into the coloring thing I'd rather be painting you know what I mean um, it is a relaxing thing except for me I was hurrying to get through it so the one thing I wanted to point out too was how well these pencils erase um, let me put a few different colors down. They seem to erase well, at least from that side of the paper. I just want to check it with this side and see. Yeah, these are, well, no, I guess they're semi-erasable. When you go outside of the line, you can get a little mess up off, but they don't really erase very well. Um, the feeling, they're not a waxy pencil. Um, they're... They're just like a plain colored pencil, but they're not dry. They're kind of in between. That's why I mentioned the uh, Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. Um, they kind of feel like those, except that they're um, not oily like Polychromos pencil. The markers, um, those markers were nice. They, as far as markers go, the caps can go on the back ends of these, and they seem to stay on okay. They have a lock on them, so you have to put the cap on a certain way, and then it snaps down. Um, Spectrum Noir has been known for the difficulty of getting their caps on and off, but these are not as hard to get on and off. Um, so that's basically my review of that. The only thing I didn't use was this pencil, or this pen. Um, Oh, the other thing I wanted to say about the pencils was how how well the leads wear. Um, I only sharpened them the one time. Now, if I was working on some, some piece of artwork, I'd be sharpening them more often to keep that point nice and sharp. But um, I did this whole thing on one sharpening, and they all did well. I only snipped the tip of a yellow... Um, by pressing too hard, but they tolerate a lot of weight when you're pressing them. Um, this pen writes very well. And then this side has a finer tip. Um, 
It's a nice pen. I'm going to really get a lot of use out of this uh, Identi pen. I've never heard of it before. Maybe some of you have, but uh, I like that it's got a, a one millimeter and a 0.4 millimeter on each side. So um, that, that would be really nice. And oh, I didn't use my sparkle. So let me put some sparkle on my flowers and sparkle them up a little bit. And then I am going to be done. Well, it's really pretty how that sparkles. The, the only thing I have to say about this is that um, it uh, stays wet a little too long, and I don't know what the liquid is. It's kind of, um, I don't know, it stays shiny after it dries, it looks like. No, it's still wet. It takes a long time to dry. Now, my... my um, Wink of Stella pens, they dry very fast. So I'm going to have to let this sit to air dry and I'm going to see how long it takes these to dry and compare it to my Wink of Stella. Let me get my Wink of Stella here. Wink of Stella is not a cheap pen. These are fairly expensive. They do last a long time, though. I mean, how often are you really using Sparkle? Um, this I'm going to go ahead and put Wink of Stella right here. They look very similar, but I just want to see how long it takes for them to dry. The first one is still wet. So is the second one. Wink of Stella is just a little tacky. I don't see as much sparkle in this pen either as I do in a Wink of Stella pen. And maybe it's just the angle I'm looking at. I don't know. My Wink of Stella is dry, and now this one is finally dry. So that Wink of Stella, this is still tacky over here. That Wink of Stella does dry quicker, but um, I'll bet the Spectrum Noir is affordable. Spectrum Noir is uh, usually a very affordable um, company. That was why I went with their alcohol markers when I first wanted to try out alcohol markers. Um, so... Anyway, that's it for my review on this stuff. Um, this is okay. The pencils are fairly nice. I'd say they're fairly well pigmented, although I did use a little more pressure than I probably would have used if I were using um, uh, Prismacolor or something like that. Uh, but granted, Prismacolor has their issues with their manufacturing um, since they moved their manufacturing to Mexico. And... They have problems with their leads centering up. These leads are very well centered. Um, I noticed that right off the bat. All of them are are centered well. You don't see that with the newer Prismacolors. Um, there was no splitting in the wood. They sharpened very well. And I use this Repesco sharpener, which is an excellent sharpener. Um, I love this sharpener. It was worth the $17 or whatever I paid for it. Um, it sharpens very well. And, but, um, anyway, this Repesco 64 is a good sharpener. There's no splitting. Oh, I wonder if that is a split in the wood. I don't know if you can see that. There's a line going right through this. And I wonder if it is a split in the wood or if it's just from sharpening. I'm going to sharpen it a little more. I'm going to see what happens. Now there's definitely some splitting to the wood in this pencil. Um, I'm going to hold it up here and try to refocus. Come on, focus, focus, focus. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me go back to where I was. It seemed like it worked better. If you see that line running down the pencil right on the top here, right down the top, you can see a little line, and I think that that's some splitting of the wood. They might use a cheap wood. 
Um, that's a problem that Prismacolor has too. This one also has it right there, um, right along the top. I wonder if they all do, like it seemed or something. This one has it as well. I haven't had any of the wood split though, and it almost looks like cedar or redwood or uh, it feels very soft, like like spongy. I can stick my fingernail into this line, but you can see where it's splitting there. Um, so yeah, the quality of the wood does not appear to be as good. So anyway, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed my review of this. Okay, I'm sorry, my cleaning lady showed up. That's why the barking, but... Um, so anyway, that's all I had to say about this. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and leave me a comment below. And uh, everybody have a great day. Bye.